Welcome along to Season 3 of Kings of Rugby. It's our first match of Division 4 and we are up against Stabon. And here is the team quickly drawn. Antonio Umbanami, Sinclair, Gray Henderson, Burn Issa Higginbotham are the forwards. Keir Carter, Williams, Campagnaro in midfield of Yuani Benahan and Charles Piantel as fullback. Joy, the first episode that is a mouthful up against us. We have Nabon and their team, which again, it's another side that uh, most people in World Rugby know nothing about. But the Kings of Rugby are back for Division 4. And it is, of course, Season 3. The whole team looking different. And it is Daniel Carter, who is on the ball now to kick off. For the Kings of Rugby, welcome back to the series. It is set to be a massive season this year as well as Nabon kicked the ball straight to touch off the kickoff. And a little bit of a, a quiet down now after such a you know, frantic start that is always to these matches. And Banabi will get used to the team as we go through, but we have signed a star starter barbarian style team here. For this season, as up goes the line out, a bit of contention here between Johnny Gray and oh. not a good start to our front row uh, forward exploits already. As we are getting shrugged off left, right, and centre, but looks like oh, Imbanami's done well. Here is Danny Kerr, the Englishman in the team. Oh, Johnny Gray gets it out wide from Sinclair. Not really the player we had in mind to have in that position. The ball scratch free, and away comes Nabon. Smashing it through. Here's Charles Piantel, the quickest man in the side. He breaks the line and twice and looks to a third, but can't do it there. Slow ball. We're looking, waiting for someone. I don't know who is. Oh, it was waiting there. It was Ian Henderson. He's still on the side as well. Great ball wide, and it's Mbanambi who pulls it in for the Kings of Rugby. He breaks away from one tackle. This is good defense at the moment from our opponents. Now Bowen doing very well to shut us down. Here is Kier, just drops it off. Now it's gone out wide nicely to Johnny Gray. Again, not the man we really wanted out there. Kier running. Danny Kier does well onto Daniel Carter. Dan Carter ran it free. He puts on the kick. There's plenty of pieces out there, but none of them are on it because the ball has bounced completely the wrong way. And Antonio uh, could not get himself up and into the action. 13 minutes gone. It is nil-nil between the two sides. Looking once again for the line out. This one wasn't a very good one from Nabon. And it has gone just outside their 22 meter line. And Banabi throws to the back. And it is nicely pulled in there as well. And it's gone for us Enrico Ioani. Ioani straight through. Ioani will back himself. And Enrico Ioani scores. First try for the Kings. Right under the black dot from the set piece, Rico Ioani, the breakout superstar of the year in 2017. And why not? Why wouldn't you sign this young gun to the Kings of Rugby? Look at him go. The fullback coming across for Nabon. Had no chance at all. And what will be interesting now is who will actually take the kicking? We have a real star at fly half in Dan Carter. Look at that. Look at how Rico sent that opposing winger completely the wrong way. He had width out wide, chose just to back himself. And it is, I think, no, it is Carter. I saw Rico Ioani in the bottom corner. I thought, surely not. But no, Daniel Carter, the All Blacks legend, will be taking the shots at goal. Of course, this season is a six-match season. So three teams other than the Kings in the league. And you play each side twice home and away. It's Daniel Carter. Adds the extra two and a 7 0 Kings over Nabon after 14 minutes. Of course, as usual, we'll be looking for the bonus point. We're looking for as much as we can get out of this game. And here comes the great run from Charles Pantel. He is lining fast, Pantel. We know what he can do. His exploits are amazing. He's running out of steam. Has he got enough to go away? Pantel on the kickoff. Charles Pantel scores. Wow. What a try. From the fullback, Charles Pierce, our former All Black, of course. He just carved straight through and then used the speed to get around the fullback. And it was just a case of did he have enough gas? Yes, he did. Super try from the Kings of Rugby, and that is why they are known as the Kings of Rugby. 
to sing absolutely star-studded from top to bottom. Even the bench has some quite fantastic players, which we may see come on at halftime as well. So the wind, well, it has changed quite considerably. Very, very strong breeze coming from left to right over Carter's left shoulder, or straight into Carter's left shoulder. 12-0, what an instant hit that was from Charles Piertel. Carter sizes this one up. He's, he's right in front, so it should be no problem, and it's not, but how about that, eh? Dan Carter lining up a shot for the Kings. That would just be brilliant. Kickoff goes down, and now Zimbadambi. They'll be happy to see front rower that's got that ball this time. As here is Antonio, and oh, that could be dangerous. Are we going to keep hold of this? Just hang on. Here's Danny Kier. Spots a little hole down the sideline. And Danny Kier goes into touch. A bad little snipe there from the English scrum half. But they've got to be careful here, giving the ball away to Nabon that's close to their line. So uh, a throw in. Are we going to. Oh, oh we've, we've gone too early on both occasions there. And we have let the ball go straight to Nabon. We don't really want to join into this fun at all. We'd be quite happy for this to just stay back. Go away from the Nabon. We don't like your mauling. They're charging upfield. We need to get more players into it. That's what I need to do. What am I doing here? Trying to keep it away from them as we try and twist it around. They are very close to the try line here. Now it comes free. Now they're going to use their backs. Oh, Campagnaro! Take a bow. That was a cruncher. They still bust through. But then Benambi saves the day. And the Kings are giving it straight to Piatel. He didn't want that. And we've got to be careful now where we go. Denny Kier. Denny Kier runs free. The end of the advantage. Oh, we've lost the ball straight away. Then it's come away to no one in particular. And Campagnaro, the man who put in that... Brutally good hit. Runs away with it. Antonio. Goes himself. Here's Kier. Oh, Carter. He come off his head, did it? Here's the Minami coming out wide. Rinko Iwani. Again, he comes free. It's a big run. And what can they do to stop him? The King's winger. Ranging out wide. And he has pulled down. Good tackle from the fullback. But it would be nice for them if he committed a bit earlier. Carter. They're going a bit sideways here. Finally comes back to Johnny Gray. And they have lost a good 20 metres there. Here's Campagnaro finding a way out wide. That's a great fan. And once again, it has Rico Yuani who does the damage. Danny Kier looking. Oh, Danny Kier! How about this from Danny Kier? What was he lining up there? I'm not quite sure. Looking for a little grubber kick, I think, from the looks of things. But it didn't come off. What a run there. And Manami picks up loose ball. Comes back to Gray. And the ball is sitting in the mall once more. Advantage is over. The mall is going nowhere. So Kier takes it out the back. He swaps away one. Good run once again from Danny Kier. We are going nowhere in these rucks, but it sits there. Burn. Haven't even talked about him being in this team. Tide Burn does very well. Here is a run for Matty Banner here. And you can't have a team on this channel without Matty Banners on it. Big pass out wide there. Oh, and through goes Rico Iwani. And through another one. He is exquisite. Oh, what a tackle. What a tackle. Bring him down. And here comes Danny Kier. Oh, my God. That is a big, big, big shot there. Is Kier okay? He is slow to get up. It's in farmers here. And here comes Benahan. He's over. Referee took a while. Benahan used his power. And he charged over the line to score his first try for the Kings of Rugby. Poor old Danny Kier. Thought he'd seen all the space down the short side, but what a pass away to Matt Vanahan. And the veteran just bulldozes right through the nub on defence. Danny Kier, you've got to say, should have they even let him get up? He got smashed again by the nub on fullback. And this is a thrashing. Oh, it's a yellow card as well. Oh, I did not notice that. I knew it was advantage. But now Bone has been sent a man to the bin right on half time. So we will see Daniel Carter convert this third try for the Kings of Rugby. Rico Iwani, Charles Piatel, Matt Banahan, the back three of dreams here at the moment doing the job 
for the Kings. Here is Daniel Carter. Can't swing that around. Oh, say the crowd. Surprising by Daniel Carter, but that is half time. And we'll head to the sheets now and have a look at the stats and, of course, the reserves bench. I'm sure you guys are pretty interested to see. We'll see the rest of the squad after this matchup as well. But three tries to zip, two conversions. And once again, we are back to just three tackles to 26. It is still on pro. Uh, tutorials are off. All the things you guys are set to make it as hard as possible are done. We are just far too good for Nabone here in this first match of Division 4. We have overspent a little bit as well, but we'll have a look at that post match i'm sure we can make that up you'll see what my plan is but let's have a look at the reserves bench um here is the side if you didn't catch it at the start uh we have of course seven changes to make so we got kieran brooks on the bench we still got gulim in there because he is just a monster then we have sean cronin moving to the bench as well via for theta yes that's right the up and coming superstar via for theta on the bench as well william Billy larue still stays there Kyle Godwin comes in, our Australian representative, and Tommy Bow is there as well, alongside the original king himself, Matt Pimpy, still on the bench. So, a good start by this team. Um, I would like to bring on Via Fafita into the back row. Add a little bit more explosiveness. Who do we bring off here? Ty Burney. Do we bring off Ty Burn or Facundo Issa? We haven't seen anything from Issa in this game, which is a bit disappointing. Um, the youngster... Burn and Higginbotham. Maybe we'll bring off the old man Higginbotham, whose circle is the most hit. So we'll put that there, and we'll swap. Oh, we can't swap those two around. Okay, so whatever. Um, we'll just we'll just leave um, Via Fafita on at number eight. Billy Roo, Carl Godwin, Tommy Bow. Um, Tommy Bow could come on. Um, maybe we'll bring him on for what are we looking at? Rico Yuani is only 72. He's explosive speed, but why not? Rico's done the trick already. Let's bring Tommy Bow into the side to, to play the second half. Cole Godwin as well. Ah, screw it. Let's bring him on for Camp Agnaro. Well, Scott Williams. Now, we'll leave the superstar Scott Williams on. And there's three changes. That's quite a lot for us. Kieran Brooks as well. We might as well bring him on for his first match. Uh, take off Antonio. And we've still got a Sinclair and Mbanambi there. The South African. And, of course, the English prop, Carl Sinclair. So that is it. That's all the changes we'll make. No, don't push that button. There we go. Let's get back to the second half. So the yellow card's still in progress for Nabon as the kickoff goes down to Danny Kier, who's gone the nothing ball to Johnny Gray. And here comes Mbanambi. Look at him go. The hooker putting on a clinic at the moment. Danny Kier. Ooh. Possibly offside there, but the referee doesn't call it. It's back to Nabon and he shrugs away the one tackle from Kyle Godwin and through he goes out to the right wing he's doing it all right at the moment this could be a great start for Nabon box kick from Daniel Carter and straight to touch that goes good nudge there from the veteran fly half and an explosive little start there from Nabon to push it all the way there into the 22 of the Kings of Rugby Oh no, I stuffed it up again. Where do we go? To the front. <laughs> I can't match it. But they do well. And they're going to maul this up once more. Go everyone. Throw the kitchen sink in it. Twist it. No, no, no. Twist it towards the, the uh, sideline. That's what we want to do. Try hold it there. Hold it still. We do. We finally get that right. Oh, big tackle there. Slow to get up to. And Manami smashes that right. We're offside. Now, <laughs> that is a massive tackle. Not quite able to turn that ball over. Now, boom. Go a bit wider. Oh, this slips through. That's a great run. That Kieran Brooks is there. And he puts him down on the floor. Well, not even. They've held them up very, very well here. And it is Nabone who is slowly going forward. And they are looking to put pressure here on the Kings of Rugby defensively. Stopping it just on the 22. It holds up. They're still nudging forward. This is great here from Nabon. But they've lost it. All that hard work. And now they've lost it. Ian Henderson. Wide for Carter. And through goes Johnny Gray. Almost doing the unthinkable. Oh, turnover there. Nabon doing very well at keeping this ball on their side. Now they come wide. Good tackle. This will have to be a turnover here for the Kings. It is indeed. 
It's standing here, running away from his support, but he's got it to Johnny Gray, who's been allowed to run, and still he goes, Johnny Gray. Inside ball, Kings looking to keep it alive, looking for a speedster, can't find him. And eventually goes to Scott Williams, who was looking to struggle away, now he does it, Williams still going. Breaks away through one and two. Still going. Now wide to Cole Godwin. He passes only to Benahan. Becker goes inside. And Benami looking for width. Finds it to Gray. Gray goes back to Carter. Oh, Daniel Carter. Shrugs away one. Would be tackler. Here. Goes early to Bow. And Tommy Bow is absolutely mugged. Wide ball Carter. Oh, Carter slides through. Oh, that beautiful pass from Daniel Carter as they continue to go wide. The Kings, good tackle. Pulled him down quickly. Had to happen. Here's Mbanambi. Mbanambi still going. It's a pass away right on skew to Banahan. And they will use this up straight away. Oh, we're going for a box. Didn't mean to do that, but it's picked up nicely from Johnny Gray. And he charges upfield. This is a tight contest here at the breakdowns. Here. Away, out through the midfield it goes. Finally getting out to Tommy Bow, who goes to Ian Henderson. And Ian Henderson still going. Trudges up. Here is Danny Kier. Away it goes to Daniel Carter, who's met his match there, the big tackle. Burn. Well, Ty Burn does well. He's still going, Burn. Here. Pick and go from Kier. Cole Godwin. Dropped instantly and loses the ball as well. Not the best from the young Australian. Oh, and they're broken through here. Good little spin move. And a chance to turn over, but it's not coming away. Box kick. Finding the pressure straight down the throat of Tommy Bow. Bow runs it back. Oh, terrible ball. And Godwin once again misses out. Here is fire for Fita. He's taken, held up. Shrugs away. Good tackle taking for Fita down. It's advantage to the Kings here. Here. Gray. Shrugs away one. Gets it off to Matty Benahan. And Benahan still going. Stepping and shimming his way through. Looks like this could be a lost ball though. Comes back to Nabon. And, and they try and force their way through. It's stolen once more. Here. Away to Sinclair. Good ball to Bo who slips it away. And here comes Tommy Bo. Finally breaks into the backfield. Here. Brooks. Williams hasn't done much, but he's Sinclair. Running free like he does the Banambi. And quickly there is Danny Kier. Trying to force room through. It's Dan Carter. Quickly shifting it through. And Banambi away to Tommy Bow. Oh, this is getting a bit predictable now from the Kings. They need to keep it tight. And Danny Kier looks to do that exactly. He goes forward. That's a good run there from Kier. Now they look to Carter. And Carter charges at the line. Now they're getting into the inroads of the defence. Kier. Kier still going. He's gone a bit sideways here, Danny Kier. But all is not lost. Here is Kieran Brooks. He knows the way forward. Kieran Brooks goes through. Breaks two tackles. He's just a metre short. Pick and go here. Danny Kier. Oh, he's been hammered. Here from Manami goes away to Brooks and Brooks gets it. Well, wasn't that fully deserved by Kieran Brooks? We went wide, we went wide, we went wide, but it did not work. And finally, Danny Kier said, We need to mix this up. Brooks, through he goes, and the impact off the bench comes in the form of Kieran Brooks. Great little try, and as soon as the tactics changed, you see. Now Byron said, uh oh, we're not dealing with this, we're dealing with width, and it changed the game massively. They took the whole half to score that one try. Unbelievable, it's 80 minutes up, I don't know how long it's been 80 minutes up either. But the way we sit right now, it is a fourth try bonus point. Now Byron, well they have not threatened us at all, have they? Which has been a little bit disappointing. Thought we could have got a little bit more from these guys, but we do have some tougher teams in our division. Here comes Carter. Missed one. Nailed three. That is a successful day for the Kings of Rugby. There goes full time. And it is happiness all around for the Kings of Rugby. As the ball makes its way slowly down the ramp of stairs. And now it hits the bottom. Good win here for the Kings of Rugby.
And a good pile of squad points as well. 26-0. 80 minutes. That was that was a tiring game. The Kings did it easy in the first half. But you've got to say, Nabon really uh, cleaned things up out wide in the second half. And they were impossible to breach until we went back to the forwards. And that impact off the bench. Brooks, Fafida, um, especially were good. Godwin was terrible. I don't think we'll be bringing him on again uh, in this match or in this season. Um, but, you know, we've got a couple of Aussies out there. So, there's a good Barbarian team. We'll have a look at that soon. But four tries, three conversions. We made 11 tackles to 60. All in all, um, we cleaned shop there, didn't we? Big time, 26-0 over Nabon. Okay, so a good start to the season. Has us on five points, which is a great start. London Irish picking up a win as well, 26-24. That is tight. And we face them next as well so that's going to be a big big game for us it is an away match as well but as you can see maybe the reason why we're doing a lot better is because we're actually outrating these sides uh quite considerably compared to the last two seasons so as you can see our uh, fixtures there on the right we have to play each team twice so we've got six games with this team so we are doing all right with two matches in out of six or on our second match i should say out of six and we are sitting top of the table we have once again i showed you just guys this last time that we have a whole pile of objectives so we've got a lot of coin already we have done this one three tries we have scored three tries in one match um we've scored 25 points we've scored three tries more than our opponents we've sprinted scored a 25 meter try i mean all this blue what's this score one off the po oh one off the post yes haven't done that uh five matches wins uh 35 points and conversions and penalties well on the way to that. Um, what else have we can achieve here? Oh, that's all we've achieved. So money, money, money is what it's all about. You can see top corner there. We are 255000 in debt. But considering the amount of money we made last season, I think we can easily cover that uh, with objectives, uh, performance bonuses. And the other thing I'm doing, as you can see here, um, we are loaning players out. So budget-wise, you can see I've already loaned out uh, three extra players we have which got me 23940 So we're making up a lot of that money over the six games. Team management, let's have a look at the team. You guys got a little glimpse at the start, and you got a little glimpse throughout the match. But here is the full squad of, I think, 26 this season as well. So three players on loan. So we've got Kieran Brooks, who's not normally starting. So um, we'll just pretend he is, because we've got our substitutes, as you remember, they stay in the team. So... Why not? Let's fix that. You guys have seen the starting 15. You've seen the bench as well. So, Antonio, we'll put back on. We'll bring Higginbotham back on as well at 8. Uh, we'll take Tommy Bow off and we'll bring on, uh, who was that? Rico Ioani and Campagnaro for Godwin. So, there we go. That's that done. So, Antonio, Mbadambi, and Sinclair. They're our front row. So, a good little mix of cultures there in that front row of Johnny Gray and Ian Henderson, the Scottish Irish connection in the second row. We've got another Irishman, Ty Byrne. I think one of the most up-and-coming players over this last season as well. So a lot of you Northern Hemispheres uh, guys will know all about this guy. Um, Facundo Issa, our Argentinian player in this team. As well as Scott Higginbotham, our Australian player in the team. Another Englishman in Danny Kerr at nine with Dan Carter. Um, our first New Zealander, I think, in the team. Yes, it is. Um, starting at 10. Outside him is our second, Rico Ioani. I'm sorry I could not resist. i seen this kid in the group I was looking for, for cost, and the player he is, I couldn't help but pull him in. And he is, well, he's, he's been a great addition to the side, scoring on a debut as well. And the centres, inside centre, is Scott Williams, the Welshman, coming into the team, so representing Wales here as well, with Mikel Campagnaro, coming at outside centre, the Italian doing the job there for us at 13. Then we have Matt Banahan, another Englishman, but of course channel legend and rugby legend as well. We've seen him a lot through Nathan Nichols, uh, Bath careers, and of course now rugby 18. And then last but not least, you know, former All Black New Zealander, but he's plying his trade very, very successfully. He's one of the best players in the Northern Hemisphere at the moment, Charles Piatel. We've managed to scoop him into the number 15 jumper, which I'm pretty happy about as well, because as we've seen by his try, he's express. He is super, super fast as well. Stats just smashing it all the way through. 
Reserves bench, Kieran Brooks, we've seen score that try. Anton Gunnerman is there as well. Sean Cronin, the reserve hooker. Bayer Fafita covers second row and back row as well. So one man doing all those jobs there, which means I've got another uh, back rower in the reserves as well. So outside him, Vili LaRue, he covers scrum half, fly half, wing centre fullback. I mean, it's just the ultimate player to have on the bench. Cole Godwin may see his departure for another player we've got on the reserves as well. Might come in for Godwin. Then we have Tommy Bow and, of course, the original King Mpimpy there as well. The three extras we've got, Liam Gill. So that's what I talk about. If we have a player injured in the back row or second row, the Fafita has to go in. We've got no reserve uh, player there as well. So Liam Gill comes in if that is required. Another Australian and, of course, another Northern Hemisphere player. Dylan Lades, now the South African. Good player to have. Wing, fullback, fly half. So a bit, a bit like Billy LaRue, but I think we might bring him in for Godwin for the next match as well. Uh, Godwin just did not perform. He dropped about three balls. And, of course, we've still got Adir Lucan, who I think we just can't get rid of. He is probably the player of the series so far, um, so we cannot get rid of him. He will stay in the squad alongside Mapimpi. But the cool thing about it is we can loan those guys out and make a little bit of money. So we can see one match gets 6K for Adir Lucan. We get almost seven for Godwin and eight, just over eight for Liam Gill. We can loan them out for a longer period of time, but um, they kind of there as cover as well. So I'll do it one match at a time. You don't get any more, as you can see. Um, where's an easy one to work out? Um, you know, 6-2, the 12-4, then it's 18-6. So it's 6-2 every match. So it's just a matter of me coming in here and going and loan these three guys out every single episode. So that's all good. We can manage that, and we'll get our money back as well. And should be sitting pretty for uh, next season. And you think these guys only demand about 30k, 30 to 40k um, in wages for the season. So we're going to make those wages straight back unless we need them. Of course, there is also the option that we can loan or sign uh, anyone else in the world that we want to in the season. So we could have our bases covered quite nicely um, for this season number three in Division 4. So that is it. Let's move a look at the team. I think it's a very, very good team. We've got pretty much every major nation in world rugby with at least one or two players in there as well. So very happy with the team. What are your, what's your guys' thoughts on the side as well? Do you like the team? Do you like this combination of players? And do you think we're going to get promotion to Division 3 this season? It looks pretty, pretty good. That start was amazing. But next up, of course, is London Irish. Possibly, I think, our biggest opponent in this division. So I'll see you all next episode. The Kings Rugby are back for Season 3 in Divisions 4. Until next time, thanks for watching, and as always, take care.